More protests are expected in Springfield today as we mark 700 days without a budget. Lawmakers are scrambling to pass a budget before the midnight deadline, closing the spring session. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli is live along the lakefront with a look at what's ahead. Mike, you think they're going to pull it off? Uh, you know, I don't, Roseanne. I do not think they're going to pull it off. This, of course, as you mentioned, the final day of the spring session. And really, as of right now, the lawmakers are no closer to hammering out a budget deal than when they began this latest round of the process some five months ago. Now, the full House is expected to vote on a $37 billion spending plan today that would increase taxes by $5 billion. That plan, though, is expected to be rejected by the governor, who says it doesn't include property tax freezes or workers' comp reforms. That, as a group of activists occupied the state house in Springfield until they were forcibly removed by police, 34 leaders with Fair Economy Illinois were busted late last night. They had marched to Springfield to push for what they call a people and planet first budget. They took their protest to the front door of Governor Rauner's office. When they refused to leave at around 10:30, they were dragged away in cuffs. Now the governor did appear on Facebook with his lieutenant governor, where he ripped into House Democrats for, in his words, trying to bail out Chicago. What we need is a uh, true education funding formula that is fair for all school districts, all low-income school districts, including the city of Chicago, but not a special deal for Chicago where they get hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars more than no other school district gets. Now, superintendents who lead districts that have two-thirds of the state's students will be in Springfield today as well. More than 400 are expected to show up. They will be pushing for more than a billion dollars in back payments, of course, a new budget, and a more equitable school funding formula. Reporting live along the lakefront, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Roseanne? All right, Mike, thank you.